Welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Here's a bright idea. Why sell your stock if you're winning? Why sell your shares when you can squeeze a little bit more money, a little bit more profit potentially out of the trade? Here's a very easy way to do it. So let's say you had bought a stock or an ETF, whatever it is, and it went up. Congratulations. You've got a profit. And yes, you can just sell your stock shares right now take your profits and run, right? Take the money and run, that's what some people say. But there's another way to potentially lock in profits. Yes, there is a risk, okay? There's no free lunch in the markets, but I think this is a fairly low risk way to uh, squeeze a little bit more profits out of it. So let's start with an ETF, QQQ, uh, which represents the NASDAQ, it tracks the NASDAQ pretty well. And so let's say you bought QQQ and let's say it went up, right? And you're doing great, congratulations. So if QQQ is trading at around almost $358, let's say right now, just for a sake of example, you could just sell your 100 shares and you have to have at least 100 shares to do this of whatever stock or ETF it is. Okay, so you could sell your 100 or more shares and take your profits or you can sell a covered call. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see how much more we can profit if we sell a covered call. Now I'm gonna choose this Friday, okay? So I'm gonna choose the closest Friday expiration, the near nearest Friday expiration. Okay, so and that's about four days away from today. And I'm going to pick, now you could do at the money, I'm gonna go a few strikes in the money. So let's see what that looks like. Let's try uh, an in the money call. Why am I choosing an in the money call? Because I probably on Friday want to sell my 100 shares and you're more likely to get assigned and sell your 100 shares if you choose an in the money call, meaning the strike price is lower than the current stock price or ETF price, okay? So if right now QQQ is trading at around 358, I'm going pretty deep in the money actually by eight dollars, three fifty. Okay, so I'm very likely to get assigned. I'm very likely to end up selling my hundred shares on Friday at four o'clock p.m. Eastern time, or you know, whenever I get assigned. Okay, could be earlier than that. All right, so what would I get paid right now? Three fifty strike price this Friday expires on QQQ I would get paid let's say nine dollars and forty cents per share I would get nine hundred and fifty bucks in my account immediately that's a cash payment pretty cool right and so I would end up selling at 350 but effectively net I would be selling at 350 plus 940 it's like I would be selling at 359 and 40 cents instead of at 358 or so. So I'd be squeezing a little bit more out of the trade. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so now you might say, well, what if the stock goes down? What if it just tanks before Friday? That is the risk you're taking on. There's no free lunch in the markets, folks, okay? You get to squeeze a little bit more out of the trade. You get to effectively uh, sell your 100 shares at let's say 359 and 40 cents instead of at 358, cool. But yes, there is the possibility that because I didn't lock in profits now, uh, QQQ could tank. But look how far down it would have to go before I'd start losing money. In order to start losing money, QQQ would have to, first of all, go below 350, right? And actually further down than that. That's right, because I got paid 940 per share. So it would have to go down to like around 340 or 340 and 60 cents mathematically before I would start losing money. Okay, so this thing would really, really have to tank before, uh, before I would start losing money on this trade, okay? So this really is fairly low risk. Let's try another one. Let's do Home Depot just to give you a stock, what this might look like with a stock. Let's say you bought Home Depot stock HD and it went up. Congratulations. Went up to around 361. You can take your profits immediately. Great. Why not try selling an in the money covered call though? 
So I'm gonna, again, put it for the nearest Friday expiration. And this is something you wanna do on stocks and ETFs that have expiration dates every Friday. Cause you don't wanna be uh, any longer in this trade than you have to, right? So pick the nearest Friday if you wanna try this out, okay? And then I'm gonna go in the money, I'm gonna go all the way down to 350, let's say, okay? Uh, actually, I don't think it's gonna go down to 350. Yeah, that, that seems a little bit extreme. Let's try 355. You don't wanna go too deep in the money. If you go really, really deep in the money, yeah, it's a safer trade, but you're not gonna collect much money, <laughs> okay? You might as well just sell your stock shares immediately. Let's try 355. I don't think Home Depot's gonna go very far below 355 by Friday, and today is Tuesday. Okay, so I'm selling this Friday, 355 strike, uh, covered call, in the money, okay, lower than the current share price, 355 is lower than about 361. What would I get paid? I would get, let's say, 355, let's say if I get paid, uh, I don't know, almost $8 a share, right? Let's say I get $8 a share, if I haggle, right? So effectively, I would be selling my shares, I, I, not at 361 anymore, but 355 plus eight is 363. Okay, so I'm squeezing a couple of extra dollars per share out of the trade. Nice, right, okay. But what if it goes wrong? What if Home Depot goes down a lot before Friday? Yeah, that's the risk you're taking. But how far down would it have to go before I start losing money? Well, it would have, it would have to go down to 355 before I start losing money. But wait a minute, it would have to go lower than that because remember, you got paid like $8 per share. So it would have to go down to 355 minus 8, 347 really. Give or take a few pennies, right? It would have to go down to like 347 and change before I start losing money on this trade because this is the strike price. Subtract whatever you got paid. It would have to go down a lot. And this is before Friday. This is in four days not likely to happen. It could, there's risk involved, but this is really a great way to get out of a trade if you don't think the stock is gonna tank before Friday, okay? Of course, we cannot predict these things, but it's not a bad way to go. So, something to consider. Yes, you can take the money and run right now, or you can profit a little bit more. It's not a lot more, okay? And again, don't go too deeply in the money, because if I went with a 350, uh, you know, I just wouldn't get paid much more than selling the shares now. If I went to 350, 340, something like that, that's almost like selling it now, plus a few more pennies maybe, okay? So don't go too far down, but go in the money if you want to try this out, okay? All right, so I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, try it out with virtual or demo trading. Do not try it out with real money because there is risk involved. You want to make sure that it works for you before you even consider committing any real capital to it. Okay, so if you like this video, if it's helpful, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And I want to thank you for watching and listening. I will talk to you again soon.